The final bet by Greg Poloyan paid off for nearly a year, Poloyan managing to stay out of prison as he fought a brain tumor. His attorneys, U.S. prosecutors, and a federal judge all pushing his prison report date in consideration of his declining health. This is how the one-time mob bookie appeared on his Facebook page, the usually jovial Greg Ployan seeing dollar signs that federal investigators long said was a fitting photo for a man who made millions in sports gambling profits for the outfit. In sentencing him to 30 months last year, a federal judge described Ployan as having made a bargain with the devil after his previous convictions for similar crimes. But Ployan and his attorneys pushed hard to keep the ailing mobster from spending his last months of life behind bars, and they wanted on that legal bet, most recently having his prison surrender date pushed to next February, even though Ployan and his team knew that it was a surrender he probably would never make. Despite having won the legal wager in court that allowed him freedom during his final months, he has now lost the last roll of his life, Ployan dying June 8th at age 67. He had struck a plea deal with the government in January 2020, admitting to running a large-scale sports gambling operation and falsifying his taxes. According to the guilty plea, Ployan took bets on professional football, basketball, baseball, hockey, and college sports. In the end, Judge Joan Lefko handed Ployan two and a half years in prison, leaving the career bookie to wonder at the time whether it would turn out to be a death sentence for gambling. He never served the time and died with the final felony still on his record. The last plea for compassionate release from his sentence denied on a technicality that he wasn't actually in prison to be released from anything. Ployan's final bet came at a time when the outfit has quickly found itself in competition with so many legal wagering sites and opportunities for bettors. The old-style mob bookie business in which Ployan thrived here may be smaller these days, but illegal syndicated gambling with different odds linked to crime syndicate loan sharks in some cases is still a moneymaker for the outfit. And with Ployan's passing, that outfit has lost one of its most colorful characters. <laughs> Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.